After completing several tests uh, that suggests that Uncle Milton's Force Trainer 2 doesn't really use uh, brainwaves to control the position of a simulated holographic image, I began wondering what the circuitry inside the uh, headset looks like, thinking that it was just going to be something very simple and basic. So I was surprised when I opened it up and I saw the image uh, you have on your screen right now. Uh, much more complicated than I thought. And uh, I'm putting this on the internet in the case that there are any electrical engineers out there who might enjoy seeing how a brainwave sensor f used as a toy might look like. To see all of the detail, uh, if you haven't done so already, you'll need to reset your resolution to maximum and go to full screen. Here are the identification codes for the three main integrated circuits. Number two is by NeuroSky. This is a well-established company that produces a wide range of brainwave sensing headsets. Considering that uh, the sensors in the headset don't seem to have any effect on the Force Trainer 2 game, it was surprising to me that they put so much effort into the headset. But maybe mine was defective and others worked. That doesn't explain, though, why I was able to complete all of the exercises uh, on my Force Trainer 2 without any effort at all. In fact, several of them without even looking at the screen. So, I hope you found this uh, little video interesting if you're an electrical engineer. And as always, thank you for watching.